What's up guys, in this video I will guide you on how to connect your MacBook to TV wirelessly without HDMI. So by the end of this video, you should be able to mirror your MacBook screen or cast your MacBook screen to any TV without using a HDMI cable or any type of wired connection. And again, it doesn't matter the type of TV you're using, whether it's a Hisense TV, Sony TV, Samsung, LG any smart TV at all or even an Android or Google TV, I'm basically going to guide you on how to properly connect and mirror your MacBook to any TV you have. And to do this, basically, you want to head over to your TV. Over here, I am using a Hisense Vida Smart TV. But regardless of any TV you're using, just make sure you follow the same steps. So go ahead and make sure your TV is actually connected to the same Wi-Fi or hotspot network as your MacBook. You can go over to the settings of your TV and then just locate the internet and Wi-Fi settings. Mine is literally at the left-hand side over here. Open up the settings. Now you want to just locate the connection settings. Go over to the network and internet settings and then just make sure that your TV is Wi-Fi is turned on and also connected to your Wi-Fi or your hotspot network. And then you also want to do the same thing for your MacBook as well. So basically on your MacBook, you want to locate the Wi-Fi settings usually at the top right corner of the MacBook over here. You want to just tap on it and then make sure you also connect to the same Wi-Fi or hotspot network that your TV is actually connected to. Once you're sure that both your MacBook and your TV are now connected to the same Wi-Fi or the same hotspot network, we can now proceed to connect and screen mirror the MacBook to the TV. For this, we'll need the AirPlay or Apple AirPlay feature on the TV. Now, not all TVs actually have the Apple AirPlay feature, but if you're using the Hisense TV, like the Hisense Vida Smart TV, the LG Smart TV, or even the Samsung Smart TV, then your TV should actually come with the Apple AirPlay feature by default under the connectivity or connection settings of your TV. On the other hand, if you're using an Android or Google TV to get the Apple AirPlay or AirPlay feature, you would need to download a third-party app for that. But don't worry, I am also going to guide you on how to go about doing that. Now, first things first, if you're using the Hisense or the Samsung or LG Smart TV or just any TV that is not an Android or a Google TV, to find the Apple AirPlay feature of your TV, you want to basically head over to the settings of the TV one more time. So come over to the left-hand side where you have the settings icon over here, or you can press on the settings button on your remote control. Now, once you open up the settings, go over to the connection or connectivity settings of your TV. And from there, you should be able to find the Apple AirPlay. In some smart TVs, you will be able to find it as one of the settings of the TV without necessarily going into the connectivity settings. Now, once you find the Apple AirPlay or AirPlay feature, go ahead and select it. Then at this point, you want to make sure that AirPlay is actually turned on on your TV. Now, as you can see, the Apple AirPlay is currently turned on. If it is turned off on yours, make sure you turn it on. And then finally, on your laptop, what you want to do is to come over to the top notification center of your laptop. Usually, it is just at the top over here. Go ahead and just tap on this icon. All you just have to do now is to click on this screen mirroring icon, select it just like so, and your MacBook will automatically start searching for available devices it can actually be connected to wirelessly. All you just have to do now is to select the name of your TV. Mine is actually the living room TV over here and automatically your MacBook should be connected to any TV you have wirelessly without HDMI. This is also going to work for your Samsung Smart TV and your LG Smart TV as well. Now, if you're using an Android or a Google TV, like over here now, I have an Android TV. All you have to do is to first of all, make sure that both your Android TV and your MacBook are actually connected to the same Wi-Fi. And then you just want to head over to the Google Play Store of your Android TV or your Google TV. So go ahead and open up the Google Play Store app. Now, from the search bar of the Google Play Store, you want to go ahead and search for Air Screen. Now, Air Screen is actually what is going to serve as the Apple AirPlay on your Android TV. This particular application is just one of the many applications that can actually serve as the Apple AirPlay or AirPlay feature of your Android TV. So you can just download the Air Screen app or any other application. In my case, I won't be using the Air Screen app because recently they made it a premium application. So I'll just go ahead and use something else like the Miracast or the AirDroid Cast TV option over here. This is also another application that works pretty well for Apple AirPlay. Make sure you actually download and install this application into your TV. Now, once it is downloaded and installed, go ahead and open it up directly from here. Give it all of the permission it requires. So click on allow, then just click on allow as well. You want to finally come over to your MacBook as well. Come over to the top notification center one more time. So at the top over here, click on this notification icon and then click on screen mirroring. 
and automatically your macbook should be able to find the name of your android tv or your google tv particularly you're going to see the airdroid cast which is basically the name of the app we just installed into our android or google tv now once you click on this app automatically your macbook will as well be mirrored to your android or your google tv and again this works pretty well if you find this video useful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one